Today I'm going to show you my top 10 Reaper Bones miniatures. And at number 10 we have the Giant Skeleton Dragon. This is a huge miniature from the Reaper Bones range. And it's actually double the size of what it's supposed to be. Um, when, it, when the moulds were made in China, they made a mistake in the factory and they made it a double size instead of the one-to-one -one which they were told to do. So what you have here is um, a skeleton dragon which um, should have been half the size and you can tell by the size of the skulls around the base here they're double the size of ordinary human skulls. But saying that, it's a fantastic miniature and that's my number 10. The reason why it's number 10 is it's very pliable and it's um, not very easy to paint. Um, but it's a, a very nice big miniature. In at number 9 we have the Unicorn. This is a fantastic little miniature. Um, nice, nice to paint, um, a good mould, um, nice and clean, and it was a joy to paint this one, and um, very nice. As you can see I've mounted him on a base there. In at number 8 we have the Griffin, again another fantastic miniature. Uh, this is a three part mini, you could probably use two or three of these and have a small unit of fighting griffins which would look very nice on the table so that's my number 8 spot at number 7 we have the Dwarf King another fantastic miniature as you can see I've mounted him on a small base um, but you get the whole you get the seat the back and um, he comes on his throne with a bear rug and his shield and his axe. A very, very nice miniature. Go well in anybody's dwarf army. That's my number seven. Number six is the Ebonref dragon. This is a fantastic black dragon. It comes in four parts and it's a very simple build. There's something about this dragon that appeals to me. Um, it's just got a very menacing dragon look to it, and um, I really like this one. So that's my number six. Number five, we have the Jailer. This is a, a recent paint by me actually, um, but I've fallen in love with this mini. He just really looks so good. Um, he belongs in a jail. He's got that dirty, bloody look to him. He looks like he's gonna really cause some pain. And I really like that. This is a fantastic miniature. Uh, it's one of the one of the best, definitely. The Jailer. Number four has to be my um, Earth Elemental. I have painted so many of these now, and each one is just a joy to paint. Um, you could have a whole unit of these, and they would look fantastic on the battlefield. Um, and for the price you pay for these bones miniatures, you could really have a fantastic army for for a really low price. And it's a very simple paint, but the effect that comes with it is is astounding. It really does look like an earth elemental, and um, he's one one of my favourite miniatures to paint. Um, I like to make the little uh, rocks on the base and etc. It's 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 a it's a fantastic miniature. I'd recommend to everybody get yourself an earth elemental. Fantastic. In at number three is the Graveyard set. 
This is a fantastic set from the Reaper Bones line. It comes with all the railings, it comes with all the tombstones, and of course you get the, the main building as well. Um, as you can see I've painted it in a gothic style with the rusty railings and I used air drying clay all around the base. Absolute joy to paint this one. I absolutely loved it. Um, this building, you can take the building off here and underneath you've got the interior so you can go straight in into uh, I've got a little trap door there that takes you down into a another level plus I put the little wooden struts in and that just goes on there nicely uh, this is one of my super favorites it's fantastic to play on it's creepy it's gothic it's got all the scooby-doo aspects you would expect from this type of miniature definitely definitely worth buying in at number two we have my drakkar dragon of course this is one hell of a dragon it is expensive um, so you know that that is the only thing I would say is bad about this dragon everything else is phenomenal it comes in at number two uh, it's just just blows you away it's a huge dragon you could bury yourself in the box that's how big the dragon is <laughs> but this is my number two absolutely amazing piece of work love it in at number one has to be dragons don't share now I have painted a few of these um, unfortunately I have no longer got them um, I gave one as a Christmas present to Cold Dead last year which he was very excited to receive um, but now I have another one and I have to say this is one of the best sets you could buy um, it comes with um, all the everything you see there you get the dragon you get all the miniatures you get all the scenery it's a fantastic miniature and for the price you cannot go wrong it really is um, I think it's Reaper's uh, number one uh, miniature miniature to get um, at the moment um, fantastic this is my number one. Buy it. You won't be disappointed. It's a fantastic miniature. Well, I hope you uh, liked my little top 10 of uh, Reaper miniatures. Um, now, just showing you a little bit of my, my lounge. As you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a gamer's room, just a, just a little bit. <laughs> and we have a room there. Hello, and all my minis in there. All my Dead Zone, Mantic Games, Lord of the Rings books. And my collection of D and D games at the top there. And got some more display shelves here. More display shelves and me again. That's got lots and lots. And then you've got the next set. Got my lava base set. So until next time.